Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to discuss electronic parking brake and we're also going to introduce the uh, retractor uh, EPB, electronic parking brake tool. We're going to discuss the EPB tool uh, later on, uh, towards the end of the video. Uh, first, we're going to discuss how this system works. We also want to let you know that this tool is now uh, PWM controlled. In other words, uh, the system was updated um, uh, on demand from you guys. So uh, it is now PWM controlled with one button only. We're going to discuss that later on. Now, electronic parking brake. Um, what is it? It's a uh, it is a very uh, the, the system is now used on a bunch of different um, uh, makes and, and models uh, it started out with the European cars uh, VW Audi um, was one of the first to introduce it it is now available in the Mercedes it is Ford um, VW Audi of course you know and a bunch of a BMW a bunch of other uh, manufacturers are, are using the, the, the system uh, the system has a motor an electric motor in the back uh, usually you uh, normally use a scan tool uh, to retract and contract uh, the caliper uh, so that you can do a brake job on, on the unit. In other words, you go in, uh, you re retract the, uh, the caliper, you do the, your brake job, you do your regular, once you retract, you can do your brake job normally, uh, and then you have to uh, advance or contract the, uh, the caliper again. Then, and this is, this is the trick right here, then you have to retract the caliper a few steps, and this is the problem, okay? Once you uh, contract the caliper, then you're going to have full closure. The, the rotor is not going to turn, so you have to retract it a few steps. And this is where our tool comes in. Our tool, uh, pretty much you can use it for everything, to retract it and contract it so that you can do the brake job. And then uh, to advance it or, or contract it or retract it a few steps. Uh, this, you normally, as, I, as I've said before, you normally uh, use a scanner for it. However, most shops don't have uh, a factory scanner or a scanner with these capabilities. Or even uh, some scanners, some systems don't have necessarily the capabilities that you're looking for. Um, and I'll mention a, 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 an example. Sometimes a caliper gets stuck, okay? And it's not really frozen, but it's stuck a little bit. So it needs a little bit of help. Our unit uh, is designed with high current so that you force the motor into uh, uh, on ceasing. Uh, you remember, these, the, these motors are oftentimes uh, the, the motor is it, it's in one position, uh, dirt and humidity gets in there, and it, there's nothing wrong with them, but you just can't, uh, you can't just, you know, with the scanner, you can, you can pretty much, it's unusable with the scanner. Uh, so our unit it's, uh, has that capability. As you can see on screen, uh, that's basically what the motor does. It takes a slack uh, in between the caliper piston inside uh, so that it actually contracts um, the brakes. You know, uh, this is, this is uh, normally used uphill. You're going uphill and then you stop at a red, high, a red light uh, with the vehicle um, you know, standing still uphill. And so the, the brake, the electro electric parking brake, actually actuates and uh, you can let go of the, of the brake pedal in, you know so it's, it's it'll hold the car in in place the retractor electronic uh, parking brake tool uh, it's a PWM controlled uh, unit it has one button and a polarity switch on the top uh, basically um, it, it's it's very simple it's very easy to use the instructions are in the, in the front of the uh, uh, of the unit uh, it is uh, high current so it'll give you at least five times more current than the scanner, than the actual um, um, ABS uh, module, which is what controls, uh, unless it's a separate module for the electric parking brake. The point is, it'll give you a high current output for the for the motor, so that you can uh, uh, drive the motor. Another another useful another use for this tool is that you can actually actuate that the motor, the uh, caliper motor. Some of these motors are. are they usually they range between fifty to to eighty dollars each, but some of them are even more expensive, depending on the vehicle that you're working on. Uh, and so sometimes you really want to actuate the motor back and forth a few times. This unit is perfect for that. Uh, that's exactly what it's used for. Uh, once you um, uh, actuate, and this is this is um, actually we recommend that you do that anyways, that you actuate the motor back and forth a few times uh, and listen for any bindings or anything like that. 
uh, oftentimes you do a brake job and the motor has uh, issues and then uh, you, if you don't do it, uh, if you don't actuate the motor back and forth, you could have the problem. So you're going to have to re uh, redo the job, you know, and that's going to cost you money. Anytime you, you get a comeback, that'll, that'll cost you money. With this tool, you do not need a scanner. Uh, it is um, precisely what the unit was made for. You just go in into the pins, um, uh, connect it, work the, the, uh, the caliper back and forth, uh, depending on the polarity, um, and that's it. And you pretty much, uh, if, you, if you work it uh, in one polarity and the, the rotor ceases, then you know that you're uh, contracting. Uh, flip the switch on the top, polarity, and then you hit the button and go the other way, uh, all the way to the end. And then uh, at that point in time, the, the rotor is going to unseize. You're going to do your brake job. Uh, you know, as I said before, you work the, the motor a few times. You're going to do the brake job. Uh, and then once you do the brake job, you have the new pads in there. You replace the rotor, or cut the rotor, whatever you have to do. Uh, then you're going to contract it again. And then uh, you're going to retract a few steps until the rotor unseizes. And then uh, pretty much you're done. You know, you can reconnect your uh, your connector, and the computer did not even know uh, you you were there. Oftentimes, the 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 uh, ABS unit actually re uh, adjusts; it relearns the new position of the uh, of the tool. Sometimes you have to erase the code or whatever. You know, this is uh, totally separate than, than this tool. But the the idea behind this tool, even for for uh, some of our customers who already have OEM scanners. Uh, or scanners with this capability is that to be able to go in, actuate the, the caliper back and forth, uh, and then uh, done. Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're done. Reconnect the unit, and you're done. Um, we'd like to thank you, um, all our viewers, on our YouTube channel, ADP Training. Uh, by the way, you can search ADP Training also on Amazon and a bunch of other uh, uh, markets uh, where you can get our, our stuff. If not, you go to our website, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. Uh, but you know everything is out there so again we'd like to thank you for watching our videos um, uh, this is um, was another um, instructional video on, on calipers on electronic parking brakes again uh, thank you for being with us with us and thank you for watching this channel is for do-it-yourselfers as well as professional auto repair technicians we present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques on hands video and how to tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy!